So today guys, I don't even know what to say. This race, right here, mental, absolutely mental. My back is hurting on several levels, a level that is just, uh, I don't know, it just hurts. Overall, the the race was funny, it was challenging. Uh, we, had, we had to play darts mid-race, it was, it was pretty insane to be honest. But the fact that, I don't know, it's just my back, yeah, is, is, is on something else. I've been rammed, I've been hitting to deliberately, to be honest, the race was fun, but man, it kills. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So, here we are, lining up for the race. Um, I think I was placed ninth. I think that's ninth I'm in. Ninth or tenth. But, apparently, the guy who's uh, in the white uh, on my right, he does Formula 3. And, um, to be honest, I don't know. He, um... Oh, they were speaking about it and then um, obviously on his picture that it shows it shows him in a formula car so he, he could be but to be honest um, his performance wasn't too bad I have a feeling it's down to the cars to be honest because um, I was obviously watching his movements too and they, they, they weren't the best his car was quite slippery to be honest so that could be the reason why but I don't know I do not know but yeah here we are waiting for the um, for the light to go green and to be honest I didn't know what was going on I thought it was gonna flash yellow then go green I never knew it was gonna go green straight away so uh, yeah we both we all kind of went off at the same time so it wasn't so bad so um get straight off it's quite hectic here and this is where this hurt I got rammed into a couple times as you can see um yeah I did I did move up about two two places there and then um I oh, see I kind of caught up ahead whilst these guys were thinking you have to be very aggressive in these races I can't lie so so bumps you know what I mean like you're gonna get them but I think here is where I kind of maintain my place for a bit and then I, like unfortunately started to fall back because obviously the car I had to switch carts actually um the car was not the best at all in terms of turning I was sliding all over the place as you can see I took that too too wide and um yeah I just had no traction no grip at all um i didn't even know where the guys were behind me i think it was right on my butt to be honest and uh yeah obviously woman up the tires too so it would take a few laps but i don't know i mean as i've said every single time i've came here i've gone faster and it, it, i still stay by that i have but obviously since it's a race you don't really think about the times you think about the place placement but yeah um goal cutting on a whole I don't know, I was talking to one of the people who um, obviously he was like not analysing my thingy but he was like because of my height and um, my body doesn't really fit in the carts like if you look on everybody else's their knees are underneath the steam wall you know what I mean so they they fit perfectly as you can see like look on the left hand side his, his legs are literally underneath you see mine they're bloody sticking out should I say and um, obviously that throws off your whole center of balance in the car which kind of makes you misjudge turns you know what I mean so um and also obviously with, if your foot is not placed correctly then obviously like that there then um obviously you you'll just mess up with braking times and throttles and all that stuff so uh yeah go kind of, maybe if there's a bigger car for me it would be perfect but um We'll have a look at there's a place uh, I think it's in Tamworth or there's another place called Daytona and um, we definitely need to check that one out see if the carts are bigger if they are bigger then it's perfect but if they're not then it uh, looks like I'm gonna move away from go carts and get into the real car racing you know what I mean because obviously I'm a big dude <laughs> so um, yeah it's, it's quite unfortunate I can't lie but um, yeah we've got a very 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 big race I won't do a voiceover for all of it because it's literally me going around the whole track again and again and to be honest there was some good battles um, there was a weird challenge that we had to do mid-race uh, we had one chance to do it and we could pick it whatever lap we wanted to yeah I think I should have done it at the start because that means I have to have like the whole 45 minute race obviously the video is not 45 minutes one because the GoPro cut out once again um, which is quite unfortunate so yeah um do a few laps, uh, try and break in the tyres, see if it will change anything. And uh, yeah, basically, it just 
nothing nothing kind of worked out nothing worked out with this car to be honest like but see that there w wasn't too bad i'm still trying to think of ways to approach the car or approach the turning with any car you know what i mean that turn right there doesn't seem so bad if i kind of like power slide into it because i obviously i'm going up there so you want as much power as possible but yeah man this car was just something i've never drove drove before it was very 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 difficult and um i think it's an older car actually because i was obviously when i was going down the line looking at the cars and i'm looking at the tires and like if you look at the way my tires are right there they kind of how can i put it they look like they've been worn out completely you know what i mean so and i was looking at like the car in general and the steering wheel is different so i assume it's not a new one it can't be a new one because the way my car was performing it just it, there's no way it could have been a new one so i assume it's an old one which is a uh, very unfortunate and uh, the guy who won it was actually in a car that i literally love it was cart 5 cart 5 was beautiful um yeah it, it had so much traction and it was just it was just the one so i think the guy in the blue um i think he passed me uh, in the first few laps uh, it, yeah, I remember in the, the thingy, the way you remember was saying that his car was just faster so you could just take advantage of it. So, um, yeah, I think it's like, I don't know what lap it was, but I point to the people who were on the pits and I just point I, I point at the car and then I just put my phones down saying that the car is an honor. So, um, I see in the next lap after that, I just kind of come through, um, I switched cars and the other car really didn't help to be honest, it really didn't. So yeah, um, last time I think I had a 47 point, I think it's 47.5, I'm now in the 46.4s, so that's literally a whole second shaved off of my best time, which is, I'm, I'm proud of, you know what I mean, so uh, yeah, we just keep it going, and I look to my left and these guys are just getting faster and faster, you know what I mean, so uh, wish I had powerful carts to the point where obviously I just, I wouldn't need to uh, I can put it I don't need to worry about disadvantages because having so much power you know the, the disadvantages just disappear you know what I mean so yeah man don't know which uh, I don't know which thing it is well these guys are right behind me now it's crazy it really is crazy this car was terrible so yeah turn right there that wasn't bad I don't know where these guys I think they were right behind me also I, I don't know I think so I could have lost them you know I know they pass me soon, I know they do. I have no clue. I think they're right behind me. I think he goes in the inside here. He kind of pushes me out, yeah. Oh, that was close. It's a battle between me and him. So, uh, yeah, yellow light went green. That wasn't so bad because he, he went yellow light went and, and I let go of the gas and I could kind of like turn into the thingy. But yeah, he's right on my butt. Right on my butt. I try to hug inside. You know what I mean? So I'm literally, there's literally two guys behind me and I just didn't know what to do. So um, yeah, I just tried to gun it through here. It was a pretty nice turning right there. I clipped it on the, on the exit and he, yeah, you know what I mean? He just went straight into me. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Everybody is dirty in Garden. You know what I mean? I need to, I need to um, realize that. But these guys, they were going at like the same pace, which is so annoying because I'm trying to match them. And like look out on the exit, like they pull away. It's crazy. And their turnings are more thingy too. The more on it, it's so frustrating watching back on this. It's actually frustrating. I don't know. I need to know when I tell the students. Like when I go, I think it's this one. It could be this one. I go. I think I go in for the challenge. Yeah, I go in for the challenge. Yeah, right here. This is this is the funny part. I get given the dart. Don't know where to, yeah, throw, boom. I hit, I hit the board, I did hit the board, I did hit the board. Uh, so yeah, I went straight off. And then I think it's in the next few, um, next few laps. I go around and then I tell Talib. So yeah, right there, right there. I don't know, I feel like <laughs> I, I constantly keep going to this racetrack and not saying it bores me, but I feel like I just need to go different places, you know what I mean? And not just stick to this one track. I need to do it outside. Because um I went outside, uh I it was me and the dad. I brought um I brought it in for his uh, birthday, uh gift and we went up to the outside one and 
that was different. That one I was, whew, I was something else, man. I was a demon, absolute demon. Um, this guy in front, you know what? It was quite irritating to pass. I couldn't pass him. He was, uh, he wasn't. I don't think he was playing. The f I don't even know he was behind me. But his whole drive line was just completely off, and it was so frustrating. I'll go on the inside here, and I, oh man, oh, sexy man, that turn right there. That was that was good. That was really good. So um. Yeah, I don't know when. I'm literally just waiting on when I tell him that my car is in. I don't know. Because, you uh, see, the tires are warm now. Definitely warm. But as you can see, it just doesn't... It's just not good, man. And I was really hoping that when I switch cars, I get a good car. And it wasn't really a good car. But, to be honest, if I was to prefer after the two cars I drove in today... Um, I, I, I picked the first one to run this. The second one was just like, uh, I was like, to the point where, you know, I can't be bothered. I'm just going to carry on racing. And guys, I'm telling you now, my hands were hurting. My back was hurting. My ribs, oh my gosh, so sore. Still sore to this day, man. So I um, definitely need to invest in some gear. But that's uh, later down the line, to be honest. So I'd just rather just take the pain. Because I know these rib protection thingy magics are like 250 almost 400 pounds for a decent one so um <laughs> yeah man let's get the weight and then one downfall is, is that when i got in the car because i was hovering to get back out onto the shack it was like the seat was placed so far forwards man it was like it was not nice and i was trying to like adjust it mid-race and i was struggling i can't lie i was struggling car is different at this place literally so when you try and use like a tactic for a previous car when you've been here before it just doesn't work or it does work but you just need a little bit more adjustments but yeah man just not good not good ideally i'd prefer to go to a another go karting place and see how that is I'm not saying this place is bad, you know. I mean, you know, I'm not gonna. Like, I grew up going here, but obviously, you just need to need to widen our options now. And yeah, these guys. I, to be honest, we kind of stayed the same length apart until I made a dumb mistake. It, no, it wasn't. That, I'm pretty sure I swapped cards here. But yeah, um, oh, I took that. I was not watching. I had to lose focus, man. I really did. So I had too much on my mind. Yep, see, look. Right there, I had to tell him it was terrible. I thought I did it for longer, I can't lie. But watching it back, it was literally like two thumbs down, and that's it. See what I mean? The cars, yeah, and the dude passed me. And it, I'm pretty sure it was, um, was it him? I don't think it was. But his car was good. I love this car. I can't for turn and I was copying his movements and I you know what it's here look it's perfect for him and I'm like yeah I need to catch up I need to catch up and I just couldn't I really couldn't struggled big time but I went into the pits Got out real quick. The car was still moving, and uh, I was literally just waiting on for them to uh, think he'd give me a different car. Regardless, I have to wait. So ran over. Well, I won't say ran. Car 19. That's what it was. It wasn't the best. That's to sorry for now. Then this got stuck. So bloody frustrating. Like that. And I was like, you know. And then I was like, bloody. Look how tight I am. 
I was literally trying to fix it. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I'm like, <laughs> you know, you're like, yeah. And I, I picture it now. I'm like, buddy, um, Waluigi. Waluigi in the Mario Kart with his legs sticking out. That is me right there. That is me. That's actually hilarious. Oh, man. That's actually funny. That's really funny. I can't believe I just saw that. I'm literally like Waluigi in these cards. So frustrating though, it really is, man. But yeah, this um, it kind of kind of shows that is F1. Could I make it to F1? Could I? Height wise, I I don't know. I don't even know what the tall, who the t uh, tallest thing F1 driver is. I'm not sure. I think it's George Russell. I'm not sure. But I have a feeling F1's out of the question now. I might have to go to GT3 racing <laughs> in um, like the, the Audis and the thingies. You know what I mean? That wouldn't be so bad actually. That'd be pretty fun. I have a feeling that I'd, I'd, I'd drive better there. But who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, and I was just trying to break in this car. Um, yeah, this car was different. I feel like because the, the tires were cold, I had a little bit more grip when then they were hot, to be honest. Um, yeah, kind of try to... That wasn't... You know what? I was trying to... Yeah, see, look, I tried the same tactic I did with the previous car. It just didn't work at all. And, um, yeah, man, to be honest, that, that was it. That was it. All the drama and what not happened within those 17 minutes you know what I mean so the rest of the rest of the race was just literally me driving you know what I mean and um, my fastest lap was you know what it was actually like see I had to go in a second there was a dude behind me that's why um, my fastest lap was on one of my earliest laps in total we did around 50 I think it was 53 laps in the space of 45 minutes so um, yeah it wasn't it wasn't so bad it wasn't so bad but yeah, that was a uh, that was it. You guys can um, oh yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video. And um, obviously, this is a voiceover. I'm literally reacting to it, should I say? And um, yeah, this is a voiceover. And uh, obviously, I'll catch you guys in a bit.